Man, I mean, to me, I feel like we start off the same way almost every time. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, teams are just noticing something within that first half. And yeah. I feel like every half they're taking advantage of it. Right. But I feel like we always finish strong. We always try to finish strong, whatever we can. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of been the same old thing the last few games. Like, people are seeing that we're vulnerable with the press. And um, the first 15 minutes, we kind of look just scared. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, I don't like to point people out, but tonight uh, Perez and Parker's kind of had a rough go at it, yeah. especially those first 20 minutes, just giving possession away. Right. They must agree as well. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, yeah, we, we definitely uh, got our feet under us and figured it out. But, um, I mean, it, it's tough because once we face one of these big teams, I mean, they're going to take advantage of that. They're going to put three up on us in the first 20 minutes. And then, we, I mean, we can't always come back. I know we have a great offense, but, you know, there's only so much you can do at times, you know. Right. Well, you seem kind of down for a 3-1 uh, win, though. So, I, yeah, and it, to be fair, yes, yeah, we are a bit leaky at the back. Will we ever keep a clean sheet, really? Uh, but we knew this going in. Yeah. You know, the uh, the hierarchy kind of let us know that, yeah, it's going to be very exciting, yeah. right? I mean, a whole other thing coming to us next week with Guzan coming to report to the team. Absolutely. I feel like Khan really performed great the first 20 minutes of the yeah. game. You know, yeah, if it weren't saved. if it weren't for him, I mean, who knows what would have happened. Like, right. they could have easily went up 3-0, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, they had their chances, too. They dragged one, uh, the second chance oh. wide, and another one went over the goal. It's, yeah, they had their chances. They just didn't, they weren't clinical. Yeah, I mean, we, we may be coming off a little negative, but, I mean, that's just because, like, we're so invested. And, like, you know, I'm not – going against other people we have like a pretty good soccer knowledge yeah. so like we can kind of pick out things that we're doing wrong and uh i mean it's not like it's on like the preparation of tata or anything but it's just like some things are kind of like elementary mistakes in a way like, like a just focus yeah focus thing and um you know awesome it's a great we got three points you know really great but i mean we could have lost easily i mean because i mean we were talking about this the ref was really bad I mean, the first 20 minutes or so, tackles were flying everywhere from our team, their team. He, he didn't have a handle on the game, it seemed like. And then there was a few fin penalty shouts. Like, I know we had one, I think, the 63rd, 64th. With the, was it Assad or Vialba? Yeah. And, I mean, that was a – I mean, luckily, you know, Amron had that run, amazing goal. Probably get goal of the week again. Yeah, yeah. But um, – Fantastic solo goal, for sure, and uh, a great assist from LGP, right? Um, yeah, and uh, you know, so with Guzan coming, uh, who do you guys see uh, usurping one another? Oh man, oh, that's a ton of competition right there. I feel like just you know him being the keeper for the United States men's team and just his presence coming in, like you don't just become the U.S. men's keeper for nothing. You know, he brings in some knowledge and some experience to the game, and I feel like the competition that he's going to bring to Khan will supplement that and will aid him only to bring a better keeper to the team. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, coming in, I had huge, huge doubts about Ken. I mean, just because, I mean, he didn't have that big of a record. Like, I know he's played a few games in the West Coast, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But, you know, didn't have that big of a record. So I was really hyped to get Guzan. Right. But, I mean, honestly, like, he's really grown on me. Yeah. Um, he's played really well, like, tonight. Right. Single-handedly kept us in the game. Right. He's good with the ball. Tata loves playing out of the back. Right. I mean, I'm not too familiar with Guzan, but I mean, obviously, as he said, he's a U.S. men's national team player, so he's quality. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think we should just lay down and give him the starting role either. I mean, Ken's done a great job, in my opinion. So, so you guys think it should be a timeshare and uh, like one plays Wednesday, one plays Saturday, one, you know? I mean, uh, I mean, we were just talking about this too. Like we were looking at our schedule coming up, and we got a lot of games in a couple days, you know? So. I mean, obviously, it has a lot to do with rest and whoever's in the better form. But right. at the same time, you have to go with who's ever in form. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yep. And, and also, I think Guzan's on the uh, Gold Cup team. Yeah. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what the dates are for that. But I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they'll take him out for most of July. Right. Which, I mean, you know, that's great. Because, I mean, you know, he'll be playing some top tier football, you know, right. so he can come back to us in good form. Right.